Hello and welcome to the New Indian Express Online. I'm Bansi Kalapa. With me is a very well-known guest when it comes to cloud seeding. We have with us pilot, Captain Arvind Sharma. Well, Captain, you have, over the past many years, on any number of occasions, you have gone up there and uh, you have, you know, done this cloud seeding as, as you call it. So just now we are at a time when there is deficient rainfall, number one. Number two, the Agri Minister has already hinted at rainwater, at, at, at cloud seeding. He says perhaps we need to do it. He spoke about it too early. He spoke about it sometime in July. But we are a month past that and the rains have been very deficient. Do you think rainwater, uh, the cloud seeding will help at this time? Well, Mansi, it's a very interesting thing. When you organize a fire brigade or an ambulance, mm -hmm. You don't do it when there is fire, or you don't do it when there is somebody requiring paramedic support. Mm -hmm. You put the system in place mm -hmm. with the presumption that God forbid such a calamity happens. You can then deploy these resources, save an asset, save a life. Mm -hmm. Similarly in cloud seeding, it's a technology which requires a certain amount of lead time to set up. Now, to react in a situation when there is a deficit upon us very late in the season, it perhaps may not give you enough time to deploy it efficiently. But if you deploy it well in time, hoping that if there's a deficit, you can deploy this tool. Mm -hmm. Now, if there is no deficit and nature is kind, well, our needs are met in any case. But if the nature is not kind enough and you have a small deficit, or a medium-sized deficit, you can deploy it in time because you put it in place mm -hmm. and hence mitigate the deficit. Okay. Now, you have been up there in the clouds and actually uh, the ingredient you use, you've mentioned is common salt. So, how expensive is that exercise going to be considering that we see clouds but we don't see precipitation, we don't see water, I mean we don't see rainwater. So, but we see clouds, you know, uh, in in uh, both South India, Karnataka, Northern Karnataka, even coastal Karnataka, but the rains have been deficient. Well, let's uh, split up your question into the two parts. The first part is about the deficiency in various parts of Karnataka mm -hmm. in this season, in the ongoing southwest monsoon. Yeah. The monsoon was predicted mm -hmm. to be more or less normal mm -hmm. and definitely not deficient. Mm -hmm. It started off well but due to various climatic conditions, there was a delay in the onset over Kerala. Mm -hmm. Then came the cyclone Biparja, yeah. which seems to have a very, very unpredictable effect mm -hmm. on the whole scenario, especially when it comes to Karnataka. Mm -hmm. The monsoon, which typically sets in Kerala, southern coastal parts of Karnataka, before it proceeds to Kodugu, mm -hmm. Mysore, Bangalore, and then turns northward mm -hmm. towards Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad, etc., mm -hmm seems to have come to hit a wall mm -hmm. somewhere near Kodu and it never progressed beyond that. And as if bypassing this normal system, mm -hmm. moisture went over Mumbai and Goa and entered central India and you had floods in those positions. So nature took a very different route this time mm -hmm. compared to the traditional monsoon route. And nobody had expected that Bipurja could have this kind of effect. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, here we are. We are almost at the fag end of the southwest monsoon. Mm -hmm. By September 15th, it will start retreating from North India. Mm -hmm. So it is true that we are in a deficit which was not uh, predicted or which was not foreseen. Number two, could cloud seeding have helped? In this last about 45, 50 days, mm -hmm. there have been days mm -hmm. where there has been moisture. There have been clouds, mm -hmm. conditions which are adequate and suitable for cloud seeding. Mm -hmm. On those days, cloud seeding could have been effective. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, there have been days when there have been blue skies and no clouds, mm -hmm. and hence cloud seeding would not have done anything at all. Mm -hmm. So this is a mixed bag that has been there. But how expensive is cloud seeding? Because we've been, uh, you know, hearing statements of, you know, tens of crores or rupees. Is it going to be as expensive? Well, it's a very strange animal. Uh, cloud seeding per se, if you look at the material that is spreading, is it's common salt, common salt, which by no stretch of imagination can be expensive. Mm -hmm. 
especially in the volumes that we talk about. The equipment which is the aeroplane and the radar, the radar which identifies the cloud and selects the cloud which, is, which will respond to cloud seeding. And the aeroplane which is like an injection, which will take the salt and inject it into the cloud. These are two relatively expensive components. But unfortunately, though the politicians in all their perspective of being well-meaning to the public, especially the rural public, have deployed this in the last 10 years in the states of Karnataka, Maharashtra and uh, Andhra Pradesh, then Andhra Pradesh. Unfortunately, a, a segment of people belonging to a nexus between the powers that be have taken it up and multiplied of tens of folds and the cloud seeding has become a focus of the seeding as they call money seeding for them. This has been the unfortunate part. Cloud seeding per se is a relatively affordable technology but when certain people who are involved in this want to make money then they will take it up many folds in the garb of emergency they will fill their own pockets and that is where the whole thing gets lopsided. We are already in, in the season of uh, towards the last part of the monsoon and uh, between this and, and the end of September, we have just about maybe a month left. So in about a month, suppose we take up cloud seeding for about all the four weeks left, uh, what do you think the cost will be? Will it be in, in, a, in a few crore, one, two, the, three, five. The costs crore. are pretty well known. Karnataka was the leader in this technology. Mm -hmm. The then water resources minister, who is now the law minister, took keen interest mm -hmm. and brought in this technology to help Mr. the HK farmers. Party. That's correct. Yeah. And then these things were managed in less than what four, five crore of rupees mm -hmm. for a certain amount of area that is covered. Uh, in 2013, the former chief minister, then the water resource minister, Mr. Bombay had given it an attempt in the second monsoon which affects the Kaveri Basin and it was a relatively successful campaign. Again, uh, budgeted in those uh, numbers that we spoke about. But somewhere after 2017, as I read in the media, uh, this project was taken up by whoever at that point of time. It was multiplied 10 times and, uh, you know, it was conducted, it was meant to be a multi-year project, but it, it became such a large scandal in the making that the project was shut down. And uh, again, the failure was due to the mismanagement of the project or exploitation of the project for people other than the farmers. Okay. So cloud seeding helps and uh, uh, we are not too late in the season because we still have about four weeks of monsoon traditional monsoon left. If you talk about the southwest monsoon, if you talk about we are a little late in the day unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But that's all right. But Karnataka benefits from the second monsoon, which is called the retreating monsoon yeah, or the northeast just, monsoon. Yeah. So, but that would be only the certain eastern sections. Yes, it is primarily the Kaveri Basin. Yeah. So if Kaveri Basin, for example in Kiaras, mm -hmm. this year the levels were very low down to about 82 feet as late as a month back. Mm -hmm. And miraculously for about 10 days, there was intense rain in Kodugu mm -hmm. and the level went up to 113, which is 12 feet less than the peak. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, due to reasons where well, all of us have read in the media, release of water to Tamil Nadu and all that, the water levels have gone mm -hmm. close to 100 feet again. Mm -hmm. So Kaveri Basin can take advantage mm -hmm. from the retreating monsoon. Okay. So, uh, Maybe late, but better late than never. And uh, cloud seeding should provide Karnataka some amount of relief in in a season where uh, the spectre of drought is staring at uh, about 120 taluks, as former Chief Minister Mr. B. S. Yadurappa says. So, can Karnataka take it up? Uh, will they make use of technology to save the state from imminent drought? These are all questions before us. Thank you for joining us on this. Program. Thank you, Mr. Karan.